All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America to wake up our people on this sign, which consists of the so-called Blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. We are living in the last days. The message is repent or die, all right? We are here to wake our people up. Get what you got, Doc. This is Malachi 2 and 7. For the priest lips should keep knowledge. Right, so the priest lips should keep knowledge, man. We are here with the knowledge of the Bible. This is why we say we in the truth. We got the truth, man. Because the priest lips should keep knowledge, read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should do what? They should seek the law at his mouth. Right, so they should seek the law at his mouth, man. Because the Heavenly Father, he requires us to keep his commandments. All right? If you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High, you will be destroyed. If you don't believe in his son, you will be destroyed. All right? Ain't nothing but death and destruction coming to those that are rebellious and ignorant and won't repent. Read that again. That's right. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Right, so we come out here to give our people the message. We come out here to tell them to stop what you're doing, stop the wickedness that you're doing, and come back to the Heavenly Father. Get uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. All right? We don't care who cares. We don't care how we deliver the message. We out here just to deliver the message. So you can take it up with the Heavenly Father. We are coming out here to do our job, and that's to uh, raise the 12 tribes of Israel up and bring them back to the covenant. Read. Matthew 5 and 17. Uh -huh. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Right, so the Christian church teaches that the laws of God is done away with. And then they have the audacity to call themselves the followers of Christ or Christian, man. When Yahweh Shah, he kept the commandments. So right. if you're not keeping the commandments, you're not a true follower of, of Yahweh Shah, right. who the world calls Christ. Read. Right? Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. What uh -huh, verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Right, so till heaven and earth pass. So the last time I checked, we still on earth, man. So the laws are still in effect, full effect. All right. The judgment of the most high is still in effect because the Lord could judge you at any time. So it makes sense to keep the commandments because if you don't, you're gonna be judged by the heavenly father. Read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Right, so no wise shall pass from the law, man. You can't pass from the laws of the heavenly father. You know what I'm saying? You can't pass from, from the, uh, what the Most High ordained. All right? Some more of that. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Right, so one jot or one tittle, man, shall in no wise pass from the law. We don't, the Lord don't care how many degrees you have or your credentials, man, or how rich you is. If you're not keeping the commandments, you're gonna be destroyed out here, man, right? Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled, man. Okay, we just got till heaven and earth pass and the earth abide forever, man. So the laws is here forever, man. Let's go to the book of Revelation. 22 and 14. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's see what the last book of the Bible say, man. See, we not your Christian pastor. We not out here to tell you what we think. We tell you thus saith the heavenly father, man, and his son, man. That's right. We ain't out here to sugarcoat your damn feelings, man. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of you people are in your feelings in 2024, man. Read. Revelation 22 and 14. Read. Blessed Read. are they that do his commandments. Right, so the Bible say, blessed are those that do his commandments. Get your side of man Bible dictionary. So the Bible say, blessed are those that do his commandments, man. You know what I'm saying? But they tell you that if you keep God's commandments, you pretty much curse, man. Or you ain't gonna be able to do his commandments. How? When the heavenly father, he sent his son to die for our sins, man. It should be easy enough, you know? But that's how stupid and ignorant our people is, man, because they don't read for themselves. 
They don't they don't study for themselves. They just listen whatever somebody tell them. You know what I'm saying? Get the word curse, man. Because the Bible says, blessed are those that do his commandments. So we got to see what the word curse means. You know what I'm saying? But if you ask anybody out here, they'll say that they're blessed by God. But the whole time, they're not blessed by God because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy, man. Find that. This is the definition of curse out of the compact, uh, Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Come. The word curse, the reverse of to bless. Right, so the word curse is the reverse of bless, man. Read. On the human level, to wish harm or catastrophe, or catastrophe, Salakia. Uh -huh. On the divine, to impose judgment. Right, so to impose judgment. You're doing right in 28, verse uh, 15, man. So if you're not keeping God's commandments, you curse, man. Kamala Harris is not going to save you, man. Okay? You all, you all, I hope you don't, you really not supposed to be voting for people that ain't your people, the so-called blacks and Latinos. We supposed to only vote for our people, man, according to the Bible. But Kamala Harris is not gonna bring you out of your your low state, man. Get that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. Right, so to observe and to do all his commandments, read. And his statutes. And his who? And his statutes. Read. Which I command thee this day. Right, so to help you, Father, is commanding our people this day, all right, to keep his commandments, man. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee. All these who? All these curses shall come upon thee. Right, so a lot of our people, they think that to get around the curses of the Heavenly Father is to go to politics, man. Like I said, voting for Kamala Harris and being a Democrat, man, but that ain't gonna get you nowhere, man. The cost of living is damn going up, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't even live here, man. Rent is all out of control. Every time you go to the grocery store, the prices is going up, so you curse, man. Read. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah, so they gonna overtake you, man. You know what I'm saying? The curses is gonna overtake you if you don't keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. That's just, it's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? So if you go to politics, you just digging a deeper hole for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because the Heavenly Father is not dealing with your damn politics, man. You don't give a damn about who you voting for. You supposed to be voting for Hamashiach, which is Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. You know? But you voting for Kamala Harris and all this, man. She just trying to get in there by being a so-called blackface so all the black people can vote for her, man. We ain't stupid. It's just another rerun. They doing the same play after the same playbook, man. When we voted for Obama, what year was that, 2008? Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody black voted for him. But what did he do for you? Nothing. So now they coming with Kamala Harris you know what I'm saying? Cause she's supposed to be allegedly what, black? Yeah. And then when she get in there, she's gonna pretty much toss you to the side and help everybody else out, man. You know? And take that, away your second amendment. Yeah, and take away your second amendment, man. Cause when you call the police, they not gonna do nothing. They're not trying to fight crime. All they gonna do is write down a report and tell you, they gonna call you back when they get a tip. You know what I'm saying? That's why there's a lot of killers in Chicago, man. Because ain't nobody going to jail for the damn crime. You know what I'm saying? We know what's, we know what's popping out here, man. Get what you got. Read that again. This is Deuteronomy. Matter of fact, get Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Drop that. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Right, so our people, they don't believe that they have enemies, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they tell you that the only enemy that they got is the devil that's in the ground, man. With, 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 with a pitchfork in his hand, and, it's just, and that's red, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's ain't enemies right there, read. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies uh -huh. and on them that hate thee. Yeah, so people hate you blacks and Latinos, man. All right? You got to wake up and smell a coffee, man. They only using you for your damn vote, man. 
they're using the Latino and the black card whenever they want to. It's being convenient, man. You know what I'm saying? Read. Which persecuted thee. Which persecuted thee, man. Like the sister that they just gunned down in her home, man. In Springfield, Illinois. You know? What was her name? Uh, Sonia Massey. So Sonia Massey, man. What was the justice that for that sister that got gunned down in her own home and she was the one that called the damn police, man? And vote for Trump ain't gonna do any good either, man, because he's gonna give the police all immunity when stuff like that happens, man. So, like, when people say that you gotta pick the lesser evil, that's just nonsense, man. It don't make sense. Pick the lesser evil, man. They both wicked and corrupt as hell, you know? They in the same boat with each other. So picking the lesser evil uh, isn't going to be able to help us at the end of the day, man. So we need to separate ourselves uh, from both parties. And not only that, like we've been in this country for, for, for I don't know how long. You know, 400 plus years, and we haven't even uh, made our own party yet, man. Right, we need to be, and then they, they not calling us by our name, man. At least us who are in the know, because we know we are the real Israelites according to the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? We know who we are. We're not a color, man. We're not a color. How can a color classify yourself? It's just a damn color, man. We are deeper than a damn color, man. What you, what you, what you told Get that, uh, Zachariah, uh, 13 to 8. And then get, uh, Second, 15, 15. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. Come. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. I mean, in, in America, you know, we got the Israelites, those who acknowledge that they're Israelites. And those who don't acknowledge, and even some who do acknowledge and, and may not keep the commandments or are just made for destruction, yeah. those will be parts of the two thirds. And those who do keep the commandments, you know, Lord willing, it's us, uh, will will be preserved, or they'll be preserved, the one third. God. Yeah, man, because a lot of our people they're gonna eat a nuke, man. You got Vladimir Putin. He just what, what did they just do? They uh, then they just tried to bomb Alaska or something. What was that Alaska? I, I heard, I heard, what, I know yeah, what you're talking about. They sending messages, they still sending uh, messages to Babylon, America, man. Letting them know that them, Russia, and China is still, they still in cahoots, man. It's also China it's, off the coast of Alaska, I think. Yeah, yeah come. I believe that was Alaska that, where, where that happened at, man. Get that. Is this second address 1515? Come. For the sword and their destruction Draw if nigh. Right, so the American people say it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. We are the most richest country in the world, man. But well, what about now in 2024? Is we still the richest country in the world? It's, it's things to think about. Read that again from top. For the sword and their destruction draw if nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. Right, so the Bible say one people shall stand up to fight against another. That's what you call a race war in the Bible, man. One people shall stand up to fight against another. Finish it off. And swords in their hands. Right, so and swords in their hands, man. That's What's the modern day uh, sword? I, it's a gun, right? A gun, an M16, a shotgun, handguns, all that. So one people shall stand up to fight against another. Read that from the top. And people literally gonna have swords in their hands too. They're gonna have crowbars. They're gonna have bats, uh, mace, uh, bottles and stuff all type of stuff man and they coming they coming for who ain't ain't uh doing them right man and that ain't doing right bound 